Alright, it's time for the math. Easy solution. Turn to discuss further into integration using computer algebra systems or CAS for short. And now go over examples two to three. Basically, they go over these two examples. The first one is use a CAS to evaluate integral of x times x squared plus five and then power of eight dx. And then example three is use a CAS to find integral of sine to power of 5x times cos squared x uh, dx. So let's begin in solving example two first. Yes, yeah, so if I open up a uh, internet browser right here and just go integral calculator, this is basically you could just find any online, any of them that are, ca these all are, all these use computer algebra systems to solve it. Let's come to the first one and write this equation in here. x squared plus and then power of 8. Scroll this up, press enter, and there is our answer right here. And that's just pretty quick. x squared plus 5, power of 9, divided by 18 plus c. Sometimes if the, if the cast that they're using isn't too good, it will, it will actually expand this out. But uh, lately, the, all the uh, online casts are pretty good, so they'll simplify it quickly like this power of 9. So yeah, if I copy and, <clears throat> and paste that result, we get basically this is the integral right here, and it looks pretty uh, neat and simplified right there. So now, if we look at example three, it says use a cast to find this integral sine power of five x times cos x uh, squared dx. And just to note that in my earlier video, I had solved this uh, by hand, and you can see that in the video link below. And, and this is the answer that we got over here, they say one negative one over three cos cubed, plus two to the power of two over five cos power five minus one over seven times cos seven plus constant c. So now let's see what we get in the cast. So we just go here, go to sine, and then we go to power five of x uh, times it by cos. And also just a note, you could write it exactly like this. You could put the squared in front or or in front of the x, like like the sine to the power of five of then bracket x, or you could put on the outside. It's still the same thing. It's going to rewrite it like that. So you go press enter, and we get the answer right here. So we get this one. So this looks a bit different than ours. So yeah, if I copy and paste it, we get this right here. So as you can see. Uh, this looks different than here, but then the, this is actually the exact same thing. These these just have this one over five d division by it, so we could show that it's the same thing. As you see, they both have cos power of three to power of five to power of seven, and they both they all have this right sign. So in, in, there's a negative outside of here, so there's going to be a negative a negative cosine three. Yeah, so here I'll, I'll just get to write this all down. Uh, basically, if we divide this out, we'll get and put this negative inside. I'll show you that's exactly the same thing. So negative 35 over 1 over 5 cos 3x, and I'll put it in the same order that we had in the in our answer. So it's uh, increasing instead of decreasing. 753. So now the second one is going to be plus 42 over 1 over 5 cos power 5 of x, and then the last one is minus 15, 1 over 5, cos 7 of x plus constant c. So now I'm going to show is that these 1, 2, 3, these constants right here are the same ones here. If you simplify it, negative 1 over 3, 2 over 5, and 1 over 7. So the signs are correct. There's a negative, positive, and there's a negative. Same thing, negative, positive, negative. So we'll just need to prove that these are the same as the other ones. So what we can do here, the first one, if we look at this 35 over 1 over 5, to take out a 5, this becomes, well, 5 over 5 times it by, yeah, times it by now, it's going to be 7. So that's going to be 5 times, um, 5 times 7 is 35, and then take this out right here, this becomes, two and then one so this is 21 so basically five times 20 is a hundred times 21 is 105 so and we get still now we can take out a seven here so five over five i'm just doing this um like this this is a useful way of uh, simplifying this out especially because we're going to use these for these other constants 
So take the 7 out. We get and take the 7 out at the bottom. We get here now is going to be 1. And then this is the bottom here is 3. These, these cancel, so we're just left with 1 over 3. So yeah, 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times 1 is, well, 7. And now the number 2, we go to 42 over 105. So what we can do is take out the 2 on this one. So we'll have a 2 times by 21. And then the bottom one here, we want to cancel out the 21s. So we take out this. This is the same thing, 5 times 21. So these cancel. We're left with 2 over 5. And as you can see right here, there's a 1 over 3, 2 over 5. So these are the the same answer. And then the last one, 15 over 105. This is the easier one. We take out 5 from both. So 5 and 5 times it by, well, this is going to be 3, 21. And again, this 21, yeah, that's just 7 times it by 3. So this again will go 5 times 3 times 1. Take out the 3. Now we have a 5 times 7, or put this first, take out a 3, then 7. So these all cancel, we're left with 1 over 7. And that's exactly what we have right here. 1 over 7, 2 over 5, 1 over 3, and all the signs are the same. Same powers, and there's constant C. So it's the exact same thing, just needed a little bit of rewriting. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this quick video on integration using online CAS or computer algebra systems. Anyways, uh, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.